Well, hello, all you neighbors out there. Hello, Philip. Hi, Brian. How are you? I'm okay, man. How are you? I am. Well, I'm. I'm kind of excited about this episode. We're talking about some TikTokers that are in some serious trouble right now, and and the kind of the, tr- you know, we've been talking a lot about trends and things lately. Yeah, yeah. So it's just very interesting that this one happens to be in our backyard. Yeah, the youths in hot water. The youths. The youths. <laughs> the, the, the youths. <laughs> uh, but I'm very, very excited. Um, if you guys haven't already, hit that follow, like, and subscribe button uh, wherever you are listening or watching. But let's go on this journey. Welcome to Neighbors Don't Knock, the show that brings you hilarious, unapologetic conversations only these neighbors can have. Join them and guests in their weekly mission to expand the neighborhood. Now, here's your hosts, Brian Chambers and Philip Goffrey. Is that head bopping kind of time? I, I know. <laughs> it's right. Uh, what's going on, all you neighbors out there? Uh, returning hey. neighbors. Hey. <laughs> There's one more neighbor. There's one more thing. <laughs> um, how are you doing, man? I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm actually, for the first time, feeling relatively uh, healthy. Not for the first time, but the first time in a long time. First, <laughs> first, first time ever? I was like, ah. <laughs> Congratulations. Mom! <laughs> the Bubble Boy yeah. has been released. I can see. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Um, but I'm, feel- I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. How are well, you? good, good. I, well... The fact that we've been having Christmas stuff thrown down our throats, you know, for the last, we're not, we're not close. We're not, we're not close to Christmas. You uh, know, yeah. <laughs> I, at I, the time of this recording, we're not close to Christmas. But I, if you're listening at Christmas time, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I like to say <laughs> that it, it feels like it's sooner and sooner every year, but I, I don't think that it actually is. I think that I'm just getting like more and more fussy about it every year. I may be too, and the grumpier old men. <laughs> Totally. <laughs> it's becoming a reality, right? Smack, putz. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, you moron. <laughs> no, I, it does, it's a whole new meaning of Black Friday. Means, yeah. It means absolutely nothing. Black Friday is a punchline now. Yeah. Yeah, I worked in retail for a long time, and specifically when I worked at Best Buy, if you tried to call in on Black Friday, you were fired immediately. Uh, it you was tr- that big tr- Oh, tried to call in sick? Yeah. Oh, you could Immediate termination. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I've been in an accident. I, I can't walk yeah. right now. It's like, you better get here. Or you're losing your job. Yeah, not to risk being liable here, Best Buy, but I sure remember somebody telling me, even if I had like 104 fever, that I was coming to work that day. So, you know. Well, I mean, even in the theater, man, there were you, you kind of, unless you physically couldn't walk. <laughs> <laughs> you were just the pre-COVID world. Yeah, that's right. Like they like I, there was a show I did one time, and and I, I honestly think they had buckets like trash cans in the wings, just in oh. case I had to like go off stage and you know. Oh goodness. <laughs> so oh, anyway, my goodness. probably too much for you guys to know. But uh, today we are jumping into some TikToking, you know, a TikToking video that went viral that takes place here in Houston. Uh, in fact, it happened at Wortham Park, which is uh, northwest Harris County, uh, not too long ago. It's been a couple weeks, but this caught fire very quickly. Uh, it was a TikTok, uh, two two teenage boys that were doing a TikTok video decided that they were going to prank, you know, for social media, pull a prank for social media, and uh, ended up assaulting Multiple people. Yeah, Houston's finest here. This yeah, exa- is like exactly. Proud, proud Houstonian example. Oof. Threatening, threatening them to take their phone, and uh, I, I believe they, they threatened to pull out a gun if he didn't give him his phone or something like that. I mean, and, and we're not just we're not talking harmless like words. I mean, he f- it physically hit people, and uh, you know we'll we'll check out the video shortly. Um, but it just, what do you think of this this whole? social media uh because that that's what we're really going to talk about that's really the breakdown of this is are we being too polite to people for because it's social media and it's it's a prank in what regards are you asking are we allowing these people to get away with um the excuse worse behavior and then use the excuse that it's a social media prank so yeah, exactly kind of okay. absolutely I mean, it's it's just like let, let me let, get out of jail free card type of like oh no it was, it was a prank, 
You know, I mean, we're talking about we're talking about nineteen year old kids. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a weird situation because I feel like this isn't just a social media phenomenon. I feel like this is sort of happening in all sorts of different environments for younger people. Like if you look at this whole trend of throwing things at performers when they're on stage, if you're at a concert, it seems very similar to me, right? This idea that that they're just trying to do it to like get attention, get a view, maybe post up on some kind of whether it's social media or like a personal website or whatever and and sort of like I guess get some attention that way is, is what it comes down to, right? Well, I, I agree with you. I, I think it's, it is all about the attention grab. I, I, I'm with you on that one. Um, I think that it it needs to be dealt with on a harsher level. Yeah. Because you have you have people that are going on social media, and they're posting they're posting their crimes. They're posting crimes. So let's like, talk about. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like here, lo- watch me watch me rob this store and film it. And then share it with everybody. Yeah, so let's talk about this particular <laughs> teen. Um, Not very good criminals these days. Indeed. <laughs> let's talk about th- this particular teen in a little more detail, though, so we have a better concept of what's going on here. So okay. it's my understanding that this guy like actually physically assaulted he su- basically he joggers. Sucker, he right? sucker punched. Okay. Like, like, it, like knocked him in the back, like a guy in the back of the head. Okay. Like, and, and not just lightly, like tapping. I mean, really... If it if it had been somebody of a smaller frame or just you know it could have knocked him out. But in fairness, he was arrested for this. He was. Uh, so yeah, so a little bit of context for this for all of you who don't know about this happening yet, or if, if you're just kind of following the story. Um, he was Alfred Lewis was charged with assault with a bodily injury, uh, with bodily injury and an aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. So I mean, from two incidents, and this happened on October 26th. So now we're getting of 2023. Of 2023. So, and this is according to court documents. Prosecutors uh, said Lewis admitted what he was doing was dangerous and asked the judge to raise his initial 10,000 bond to 30,000, and the judge agreed. Uh, and it says, "quote We take these cases extremely seriously at the district attorney's office." And in this case, the facts were particularly troubling. These boys were out at a park where people enjoy outdoors and are exercising and shouldn't expect to run into any kind of trouble, end quote. Um, you know, he, he's he's accused of attacking two men in separate incidents in the same area. It's my understanding that the friend also was carrying a pistol, yeah? Uh, my understanding is... I, I'm not clear on that point exactly, but I do know that somebody threatened with a with a uh, a gun. I mean, he hit he hit him with something in the back of the head and and wanted to, at least with one on one of the incidents and wanted to take his his iPhone and the guy refused. And the idea behind this was was just an arbitrary prank or is this some kind of like a viral trend that's you happening? You know, I don't I, I we we talk about this on several occasions how pranks can go too far and social media as great as it can be is also very dangerous because it makes people do these stupid things just for again likes clicks uh, attention yeah, affirmation yeah. whatever whatever that whatever that need Indeed. is so you're saying to get more youtube subscribers we shouldn't go out and bust somebody in the back of the head like on the street outside the studio i'm sure it would get us more subscribers but the wrong the wrong kind wrong kind in the wrong way yeah uh, it also <laughs> would get us the district attorney's subscribing I was about to say, the subscriber <laughs> starts with the word detective yeah exactly yeah <laughs> oh Judge who? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not good. Uh, yeah, it's just, I, you know, I don't know if this is necessarily a trend. I think that it was more of an attention grab because I'm not seeing this. Well, I shouldn't say that's that's not true. I we have seen this before. I don't think it's a trend because we're not seeing it over and over again. Thank goodness. Um, it, at least it, maybe maybe I'm stupid or blind to it. Maybe it is happening more often than we like to admit. But I, I think they really need to make an example of this kid. And, yeah, and, and so I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be against the kid and be like, hey, end his life or but but no. <laughs> you, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to go, you know. Well, thank or, goodness. Yeah, yeah, you know, thank no, goodness, I, Brian. I'm not saying I'm not saying that he needs to do life in, in prison or something like that. And it, but at the same time, you made a choice and there are consequences for that choice. And, and I think that people need to realize that we have taken away in a, in a small part, it feels like we've taken away consequences in, in my, and this is in my opinion, of course. And, and of course, the, 
think of this as a, an old man complaining or whatever. I'm not even old, but but uh, you know, you're just yelling at clouds. Maybe I, I just what I'm witnessing and seeing feels to me there is less consequences for for certain actions that that kids can can do, and and I feel like this kid felt like you know he actually spoke to reporters, uh, you know. Yeah, so this story actually got national attention, and I find that to be, I guess, refreshing. It's sad that it Way had... to go, Houston! Yeah, yeah. Way to, <laughs> way to get on the map, guys. No, it, it, I think it's sad that... It's sad that that kind of attention is why, why we're talking about this. Yeah, it, it's, it's frustrating for me that, that it requires uh, a national eye to get people having the conversation. But, but let's take a look at what some of the actual reporters had to say about this, because I'm curious to get the yeah. details of the story. We first brought you this story last week, showed you the shocking video that was posted mm -hmm. to social media and so many of us have seen now. Oh goodness, yeah. yes. So court records show the person accused of recording the attacks is also charged but not yet in custody. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield is at the jail where one of the teens just went before a judge, Micah. Okay, so I mean, you can see from that video pretty clearly that- Oh, he smacked he, him. Yeah, he like, cracks the guy in the back of the head with Oh something. yeah, I could have seriously injured him. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's really, really disturbing. Yeah, and, and for those of you that haven't seen this, you know, just make sure that you do understand that this is a this is a violent video, uh, and we don't condone this, but it is a violent video. Yeah, let's have a look at this again. Alfred Lewis was arrested Monday and charged with aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and assault for two brutal attacks on seemingly unsuspecting men on the Wortham walking trail in Cyprus. The state asked for a $75,000 bond on the aggravated robbery charge. The defense asked for $10,000. The judge ended up setting Lewis's bond at $10,000. That seems absurd. Like, how do you set the bond at, at as a low number of $10,000 that this guy straight up, like, assaulted two different people that were just jogging? I don't understand this at all. I, I, I agree with you. I, I think in... Well, I don't know. I, I'm speculating at this at this point because um, I'm not privy to any of the conversations going on, and I'm, I'm not looking. You weren't at, behind the no. I'm not the behind the courtroom, on, and I'm not looking at all the court documents and things like that. Um, I I feel that is the judge's version of mercy, because I think they know that the DA is going to go after him, and they're going to make an example out of him, which is again why this is it's it's national. Yeah. So they're like, well, you know what? We can make a statement with this. Yeah, and maybe it's a 19-year-old, no priors, that kind of thing. So you know, I I, I think that he's gonna, I think he's gonna end up with jail time. And I, you know what? I'm sorry that that's just again we talk about consequences and the choice that this kid made, and it was a serious, serious decision, like to assault somebody. And it wasn't just we're gonna, we're gonna pull a prank. I've seen pranks, man. That was that was straight up assault. Yeah, for sure. And, and I think we have footage of both of them. Let's have a look at this. Court records show Lewis attempted to take a man's iPhone last Thursday at about five o'clock in the afternoon and got violent when he refused to hand it over, hitting him repeatedly and putting him in a chokehold. His former classmate Kingston Miker was behind the camera, according to court records, and pointed a gun at that man. About 45 minutes later, Lewis hit another man on the walking trail from behind hitting him so hard that you can see something fly off the victim's head. He also started bleeding, according to court records. Records indicate that Lewis and Miker, who was once again alleged to be the one filming the incident, laughed. The second victim told deputies that he believes Lewis reached for a gun when he said he didn't find it funny. ABC 13 received a text from Lewis on Friday saying, quote, it was a prank. I had no problem with the man. I wasn't trying to hurt him. I was just hanging out with my friend and we did a TikTok. And so, yeah, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to harm anybody. Miker also told ABC 13 over the phone prior to the charges that he did not take the videos, but charging documents say both victims identified him. So you, you have, you have this kid, the one that's named, not even well, who was filming, pull a gun out. Yeah, this is where this all gets a little bit um, sideways to me. Like, how how is he only being charged with... Okay, let me back this up. How has the kid who is filming not been arrested yet? I, I think they're just trying to build a case for him, but I think he will be. I mean, I, I think it's just a I matter mean, of time. First of all, brandishing a weapon is a legal period in the state of Texas. You can't brandish a weapon, let alone point it at somebody unless you intend on, you know, doing bodily harm. Um 
Uh, I'm I'm pretty blown away. There's there's a lot about the story that's not adding up to me. I mean, also, I mean, they're straight up lying, right? Well, so, so you think that the, the the TikTok prank or it was a prank for TikTok is the cover? They were trying. They were just trying to rob people. That's kind of and how then it, they got busted. Well, I don't know but, but because see, but they don't. The, then you're a horrible thief by filming it. Not only that, but it says he, they <laughs> attempted to take the man's cell phone but didn't, and there's no other reference of stealing anything from these victims. I mean, maybe unless there was pushback. I mean, that that would be the only thing that I could tell you. Like, if there was if there was actual pushback from the guy and the kid didn't think that he could handle it, then maybe he's like, oh, just kidding, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Let, let me back out of this situation and, and regroup, which is, again, it said 45 minutes between each incident. So... It, he did he did this once and then 45 minutes later decided I'm going to go do it again? That's also mind-blowing to me because obviously somebody here pressed charges and how did he As have, they should have. How did he have the ability to hang out for 45 minutes? I'm surprised he wasn't arrested within minutes of the first attack. This is a little bit strange. There's parts of the story I feel like we're we're not being told yet. I you know and, and that's I'm 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 wondering if his age plays into this. You, you know what I mean? It's a it's a teenager who's. But he's not a minor. He's not a minor. That's you know, and again, if you are of age, eighteen or older, you should know right from wrong. And the fact is, if you don't, and you make decisions like this, there's consequences, and you have to know that. And so that's why I say I don't have an issue with this kid getting jail time. Yeah, I, I, at, at all. I don't, you know, I, do I want, am I looking for harm for someone? Like I said, or I, I you know, I, yeah, in a, in a small sense, I'm sorry. But that, again, that was the choice that you made. We've, I've made horrible choices before, but nothing of like that magnitude. I don't think I've ever attacked a stranger. I've now, never attacked anybody. Let's take a look I at this. Because I know right from wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at this. It seems that we have an interview with him after the factory. I want to hear what he has to say. We're learning more about one of those social media pranks that is hardly Funny. A 19 year old runs up on two unsuspecting people and sucker punches them in the back of the head. Yeah, this happened in Cyprus, and the video, of course, getting a lot of attention with hundreds of comments and reactions. Tonight, our Jason Miles found and talked to the young man behind the stunt. Jason, what was his response tonight? Well, he's regretful. Honestly, I didn't expect him to answer the door, much less come out and talk. But tonight he says he regrets the behavior so many are now condemning online. Not far from peaceful Wortham Park, where he's accused of randomly punching strangers. Do you regret it? Yes, yes, I do. 19-year-old Alfred Lewis spoke with me about how he feels about it now. You know, I just made a mistake, and everybody makes mistakes. Okay. I made a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. He's not wrong. Yeah, he's definitely not wrong, but he's also regurgitating whatever his lawyer has told him to say because that's... Well, I, I don't know, because you, if he actually had a lawyer, do you think that they would have said to answer the door? Well, probably not, but he's stupid enough to go beat somebody and film it on the sidewalk. I mean, <laughs> pretty sure they can't trust him to follow... <laughs> their exact advice hey, but, maybe maybe he's maybe he's uh, maybe he's got a, a friend who's a lawyer <laughs> yeah but I, but i will say I, i'm actually i'm no body language expert by any stretch of the imagination but i am a little bit shocked at what seems to be a genuine lack of actual remorse in his answer just then he sort of shrugs it off i made a mistake you know everyone makes mistakes it's like dude i, you, I you beat somebody in the back of the head with a blunt object i i think that he's thinking that if he can cling to the whole prank and I'm 19 that it's going to play. Now let's hear what else our, uh, our proud and wonderful Houstonian has to say here. The video in question first shared with KHOU 11 via the next door app. In it, you can clearly see Lewis striking a man in the head from behind before he turns around in shock. I know like from the video, all you see is like the bad part about it, but, um, what people didn't see was that I shook his hand after and how I had gave the man a hug. Oh, because that, that makes it all better. What? <laughs> I mean, what the, what did I just hear? Like, oh, I beat the man in the back of the head and I shook his <laughs> hand. Again. What are you talking about? I, I am questioning. Now, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they go on to say that they, they couldn't confirm whether that happened or not. 
I am. You think? I, I am because it's a lie. I, <laughs> I'm questioning the fact that, and not and not to him. I'm questioning the fact that if I was the dude that got assaulted, who would want to go up, shake the guy's hand, and hug him? Well, when you're at gunpoint and the guy filming it is threatening to shoot you, if he's you like, don't, "Oh yeah, you yeah, know? yes sir, yes sir, yeah," because yeah, because yeah, he's smiling when he does that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I gave the man a hug. What he meant was a bear hug when he was trying to tackle him to the <laughs> ground and take his cell phone. Damn, this is crazy. I I mean, okay. the The question with all of this, you know, I it, uh, this viral story that has got everyone talking is: Do we think that social media? allows for th- allows people to get away with criminal activity that they normally in past wouldn't have. Well, it seems to me that this gentleman is not going to get away with it. I think that you're right. I think he's going to be either sentenced to jail or or some kind of a pretty stern, you know, um, punishment for for this these two crimes. I, I would be upset honestly if if I found out that they let him walk. No, I, I don't think they will. But but. I, I do think that what's scary about it is that it seems that social media is fueling a desire to do this type of thing, to behave in this way. So I don't think it's that necessarily, to directly answer your question, I don't think it's necessarily that we're letting people get away with more because of social media. But I do think that, especially younger people, people are convincing themselves um, that it's okay to attempt bad behavior because of social media. And well, I think we see it. It's all the it's time. loose guidelines, and and you're having to they're having to navigate this because they they do have guidelines. Um, social media social media sites, according to edweek.org, social media sites such as TikTok have guidelines regarding what can and cannot be posted, and these are meant to keep dangerous content or false information from being circulated. Uh, but the company said that while some of the of the viral senior prank videos, and that this is referring to school students doing senior pranks um, may seem dangerous. They do not violate TikTok's community guidelines to the point where they need to be removed from the platform. According to those guidelines, removal should be for videos that promote dangerous behavior that could lead to serious injury. Examples of videos that would would get removed are those that have to do with self-harm, eating disorders, dangerous challenges, <laughs> or activities... Uh, dangerous challenges or activities, and those that may threaten viewers' mental health. Not lives, mental health. Interesting. So, so, so does, <laughs> I mean, does this video that shows actual assault qualify for removal under those guidelines? I'm not exactly sure. I think these videos were posted on the Next Door app, so well, maybe a bit different than TikTok, but still. But dangerous challenges or activities. I would think that qualifies. Dangerous yeah. activity. This is a da- I mean, I I mean, no, I don't even call it an activity. I mean, it's kind of like that, but th- I think that's what he was calling it. So, so do you feel then that the answer is more censorship of the social media platforms that we should be a little stricter about? I think so. Yeah. I I absolutely think so. Um I don't uh, to be honest, I don't have the answer of how that is about to happen or how you could go about doing that, but I do think there needs to be a much bigger censorship. It's a tough one, right? Because on the one hand, it's a slippery slope, and I'm not a huge fan of of over censorship and 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 hindering people's freedoms. On the other hand, I'm a father, so it makes me it gives me great pause to see stuff like this uh, out there on the great internet for everyone to see. It's it's pretty terrifying. Do you think pranks have gone too far? These, I mean, do you think now? I mean, especially with social media and the fact that everything is filmed and publicized so much do you think that there are pranks that have gone too far i think that all these viral trends whether they be pranks or otherwise have all gone too far yeah i think that we've we've done something dangerous culturally where we've created a value system and a self-value system where you have to be part of these weird viral trends in order to feel like you are are participating you know member of a given group or society and that's really really bizarre right like i i go back to the tide pod example always time all, yeah, all, all the I time know. rather <laughs> but but seriously these kids thinking it's a good idea to put chemicals in their mouth that can kill them oh yeah why oh, it's a social media trend well you know that's that's really terrifying it's 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 the whole if your friends jumped off a bridge would you you know and 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 there like was times a, a thousand there was pranks and things like that not a trend but there were pranks and things that had to do with something like that back in uh 2019 uh, the balcony push prank a oh youtube God. a youtube prankster 
filmed himself pushing a stranger off a high balcony in an attempt to create a viral video. The prank went horribly wrong, and the victim suffered serious injuries. Uh, the prankster faced legal charges and backlash for his irresponsible actions, as as they should. Exactly. I mean, that's that's the appropriate response, right? Yeah. I I mean, and and I'm sorry, and and I don't know, I I don't know what the punishment should be. What do you think the punishment should be? I mean, obviously, we we agree that there should be repercussions for this. I don't think that we're seeing enough of the case to to be able to accurately decide on a, you know. I mean, based based our, on that video our level of punishment, but but you know? but based on that video, if, like watching that and watching him physically assault, and this is this is not a child. This is not a, a you know a six year old or someone that doesn't know better. This is someone who knows right from wrong and clearly knew right from wrong when they interviewed him. I I I'm curious to what you guys think. I, I something needs to happen. There needs to be punishment. I, I I think that he should see jail time personally. Yeah, I I think that the appropriate punishment would be whatever the most strict punishment is for aggravated assault that we have in the state of Texas. I think that is that is the way to make an example of this young man, whether or not he really is a good dude who made a terrible terrible decision and bad mistake is sort of irrelevant. He he actually he needs to show. Um, the court system needs to show people his age that this won't be tolerated, basically. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Consequences, man. Consequences. But I think uh, the question goes to you guys. What do you guys think about all this going on? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Um, yeah, I think it's time to wrap this one up. Yeah, well, thanks for bringing this oddity to my attention, Brian. I'm, I'm a little disturbed. I'm going to go uh, you know, to bed tonight with <laughs> bad dreams of being beat in the back of the head by a random stranger. But Well, I'm, I'm so sorry, but uh, I will call and comfort you. Oh, so, <laughs> tell them maybe know. a little bedtime story. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, thank you, neighbors, for stopping by. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you get the podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Never miss an episode. We drop new stuff every Friday. So, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Out. Out.